Hi guys, previously we have discussed the the drawing tools basic basic tools of the drawing line ray construction multi line polyline polygon rectangle and etc today we will discuss what is the modify tools modify tools and so that we are familiar on this before we will start on our 2d modeling okay let's begin So first uh, we, we need to discuss this because there is a balance here yeah, uh, previously the multi-line text and single line text. So what is this uh, multi-line text? We will uh, make example. So specify first corner of the multi-line text. Happy new year every happy new year have a safe day okay let's I'll show you this so as you can see there is nothing up here here but really it's not nothing but it is very tiny so you can see here click then change the scale of the annotation scale so let's say 200 so let's see if this is will change so now you can see a little bit change again okay make it 500 mm -hmm. change until you you are satisfied so let's say 1000 let's say uh, 5000 so let's see what will happen if I make it 5000 so now it's bigger okay it's now bigger so you can see the multi-line text it's two layer two layer text and still you can add more okay but it's only one entity okay let's try to draw let's try to draw a, a single text line okay so let's try specify height type uh, five thousand okay okay five thousand So that uh, the size of the text is the same as we did before then enter uh, sing, uh, rotation zero okay that's it happy new year have a safe day okay so mix letters and enter mix letters and then click outside and uh, escape now we can see on the multi line we have single group of words and letters here but in the, the single line you can see you have in every enter you have separate group of 
line. Okay, so see the difference between the two. Okay, guys. So in example, you want to you want to make it uh, this size of the uh, the text more bigger. Just uh, click, type SC for a scale, and then uh, specified point, and then. Uh, if you make it 1.5, it's it will increase 50 percent. But if you want to make it less, just type 0.5. Let's try 0.5. So half of the original size. Now I want to return to the uh, previous size again. SC. I will make it 1.5. So it will increase from the from the from the point it will increase uh, 50 percent oops just a minute sc then uh, base point sorry uh, then 1.5 and it will increase to the uh, original and then again I want to make it 200, it's double the size. Let's see. Select the object, then specify base point, make it 200%. Uh, sorry, uh, 2 as a uh, scale factor, so it will double the size of the, the size uh, of the previous uh, size. Okay, guys, same thing you can do uh, for all the objects. For all the shapes that we draw before, if you want to increase the scale, just type uh, 0.5 if you want to decrease, or uh, 0.2 if you want to decrease a little bit. But if you want to increase it, uh, just type uh, uh, point, uh, 1.5 or 2 or 3, so it will uh, triple the size of the uh, base uh, uh, scale. Okay. Okay, now uh, let's proceed to the modify. Okay, erase tool and very easy this erase tool. When you do this erase tool, click and then enter. So you erase simple. You erase. Okay. Then another one. Copy. The same thing you copy. Okay, copy. Copy Happy New Year, enter, specify base point, click anywhere, then you can copy. Then how many you want? You just click, click, click. Okay, so that is the copy. Again, modify, what else? Mirror. Okay, mirror, I will uh, discuss to you the mirror. It's very important, especially if you are do drawing symmetrical uh, symmetrical uh, building. You don't need to one by one to draw it. Okay, L like for example, this I will draw uh, polygon with three sides. So this three sides is polygon is triangle. Okay, so now I already draw the polygon. Move. Okay, now I will use the mirror. Mirror. So you don't need to repeat the same size. So just use the mirror, click the mirror, and type enter. Then on the midpoint, you can see the, tri the triangle on the midpoint of this base of the triangle click this okay so now you have inverted triangles erase the source yes or no if you if you want to erase this the top uh, triangle then click yes if not then click no okay so 
Now I will highlight again and I will use the modify mirror then I will click in this corner so you can see what will happen okay so we have used the mirror to make the same arrangement of the original or the origin or the base uh, um, shape okay so same thing here on the right this is the same as here okay same thing on the right so three things you if you if you know also the command you can also use the command so mirror just a minute so mi mirror type mi enter and click then what you need to mirror then enter specify the base point or the first point of mirror line so this is the first point of mirror line then you have already the another copy of the uh, ori origin original uh, uh, shape okay so I think we have discussed the mirror now I will copy this I will discuss copy as, uh, as we discuss here draw uh, modify copy okay so I'll copy this okay again modify offset okay so that we can see so I will make the same shape but lower or bigger shape okay so I will type example uh, uh, 500 here select the object okay first we need to ex explode this object because it's uh, it's not select selectable explode type E and then explode so this now okay now I want to make offset let's see if it will work here so 500 already so I will select okay it's not working on this uh, shape because it's it's uh, composed of so many shapes now I will I will make the rectangle for easy so you can use this one shape now again enter now uh, select the modify offset then you have already entered the offset distance so enter and then click the objects now you can see it's selectable okay and then click inside of the object so nothing happened but you can see here so it's it's a 500 distance okay we will make another uh, uh, size so you can see you can you can make it be more visible i will delete the first one modify offset i'll make it uh, 2000 so it's more bigger distance enter now i will click the original uh, the origin and then click inside so now you can see it's visible so just continue this again you can develop 
more lines with the equidistant each other okay okay this is how to do to use the offset now there is uh, there is no more than 2000 distance inside of this uh, box so that is the last one but you can also do outside okay so click click so you have the you have the good uh, equidistance rectangle using the offset alright guys so what else offset modify array so array okay first we need to make the uh, shape draw the draw the shape okay we will draw the shape circle okay so now i draw already the shape what is this array type array polar or classic or path so these three types i we will discuss array polar first select the object and then click on the center then done now how we will do this so you can see here so you you already draw okay five equidistant circles okay that is how to use the array polar now we will make another array array rectangle I will draw another circle so at least we can array rectangle okay array rectangle okay so now you have enter then escape now you have rectangular array you can increase the number of circle on each direction okay so, so easy to draw if this is symmetrical uh, symmetrical then very easy to draw like column like the footings or the beams so very easy to draw unless it's, it is not symmetrical okay so that is array another uh, array uh, array path okay wait we will uh, make a path like for example this is plane that we discussed before i will make path So I will show you how how to use the array on the path. Okay, enter. Now circle. I will make drawing the circle. Okay, small circle. Move. And paste it here. Okay. Now array type array array path okay so click the object and then click this enter click the object and then enter select the path curves then we have now 
we have now drawn uh, uh, circles on the path of this spline lines. Okay. So what else array? Array classic <coughs> in array classics. This is you need to make manually. So four rows, four columns, row offset. Okay. And then okay, just a minute. We will draw the <coughs> sorry. Uh, we'll draw the circle again. Okay. Then we'll click this. Then type array classic. Okay. So what? How many rows you want? Four and four and row offset column offset so it's one only so make it visible make it 2000 because uh, our scale is not uh, so small it's not so big make it 2000 so that okay so it's still uh, small Undo and make undo. Okay, select array classic. Make it uh, seventy thousand as distance seven meters because it's a big uh, it's a big uh, diameter if you me measure that uh, circle. Okay, so rectangular array or polar array. So I will use rectangular. So now we have a good distance, sub seven meters. So I will check what is the diameter of this uh, circle. But okay, the guys, you can see the classic and the rectangle array. This rectangle is one entity. The classic, you can click one and move another one. So there are uh, different entities on each uh, circles unlike the other uh, and, uh, the first three that we draw it's separate and yeah it's uh, one entity only okay <clears throat> so modify array the array is done path polar rectangular okay now the move I will not discuss this because we always use this uh, move 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 simple move move the object M type M or this this icon or on the modify this icon okay so move click the object then enter and specify base point then you move very simple it's a move now rotate rotate the object click the object specify the base point if you want to put in this corner then you can rotate this on that corner I will remove the for the ortho so you can see how we are rotating the object Okay, the, this is how to rotate the object. Okay, then uh, escape because I don't want to rotate it. Now you can also type RO RO as rotate. Okay, so then same thing. Hmm? Okay, what else? You can see scale, scale. Okay, I already discussed this, but this is the scale uh, icon or on the toolbar scale. Okay, so scale. Okay. Select the object. I already select. Enter. Specify base point, and then as I, as I told you, if you want to make it uh, half of this uh, size type 0.5 
or if you want to increase 50 percent of this size type 1.5 okay 1.5 enter then you you can see it's increasing the uh, 50 percent now i want to read to return it back to the original scale okay enter again select object then specify base point then i will type uh, 0.5 so it will it will reduce so 1.5 that means we are increasing the 50 percent from the 100 per, uh, percent so if i type uh, uh, 0.5 it will re it will reduce to uh, 75 percent so so it will only have this uh, 1.5 percent okay so what we will do is I will make it point uh, point one point five divide three so point five okay let's try the point five okay so now we reduce smaller than before then we can increase as well again okay so this is how to use the scale and what else this another one stretch same thing in the scale but this one you will stretch Okay, so enter, select the object, so enter, specified base point, if you want to, to make it bigger, so this is a uh, stretch, enter. Okay, so type 1.5 okay so this this is thread is the same as the move okay so we know already now I will uh, draw a line line so copy the line CO Now I will draw a cutting line. Okay. Then another line. Okay. I want to explain this portion. Guys, uh, here is a trim. If you click this, select the object, and then cut this. Sorry, uh, select the object, select the object and enter, then cut. So, this is how we will trim the object. Okay, but if you want to extend this object, this uh, line, this line from here to here, you can also do that again. Trim uh, this trim to expand. Okay, this select the object and sorry, trim. Okay, enter. See, you can see select object to trim or ship select to extend. Okay, so there are two options ship. Then oh, on your uh, keypad, press the shift and you can extend the object and click. Okay, left click. Then again, click, click, click. Okay, this is how to. But if you want to trim, 
just no need to touch anything only the left uh, mouse click then you can remove the inside okay so again I will uh, copy this and then put I will put it here and I want to extend this from from this uh, construction line uh, from this point up to the construction line okay trim again so, uh, enter then already extended now I want to extend this again double enter and then so I have already extended from this point okay so this is how to use this tool uh, icon on the toolbar okay guys uh, this another icon here break you can see here break select object I want to break this from here okay and here then it's already break you can see this line if you if you if you want to see this line it's straight from here and only one line but here you can see it's two line now because it's already break so two line now already okay then another one okay this so also a break it's also a break the same thing the first one is also break okay break and if you click here it's also a break but there is two function okay so if you want to make opening for the line use the second break and then you have already opening on the line okay so the other one is to break that the, the one line into two or on or more but the second one is to make space and break the line and make a space between the line okay so what is this join so this already we used before but uh, we will uh, use again now so join select source object or multiple objects to join at once okay i will join this again that we break before one select then select objects to join and then enter then now it's a joined object okay so what is this jumper so jumper also you can find here jumper fillet okay so jumper i will explain the jumper i will draw rectangle okay and then i will use this jumper select the first line first we will click the distance because it's zero if this is zero nothing will happen so i will uh, write uh, distance uh, maybe 5000 because to make it more visible then click enter so now specify second chamfer chamfer distance then just enter because we have already and then select first line this is the first line and then select the second line so as you can see here the the corner of this rectangle is jumper okay so if you want to make it bigger again enter distance make it 10,000 okay enter if you want uh, not equal make it 20,000 the other other side the second uh, jumper distance and enter 
now you can see what is this okay so you can see it's chamfered in uh, uh, in different sizes of chamfered from here from this point distance from this point up to this point is 20 okay and from here up to this point okay is 10 so so we have chamfered we have chamfered the corner of this rectangle into 10 on the horizontal uh, side and 20 on the 20 meters on the vertical sides or coordinates okay same thing on the fillet okay radius of the fillet and by default it's only 0 0.0 so if you did not change this it's nothing will happen uh, by default 0 I will type maybe 20 thousand and then click enter now I will choose this this side and this side so you can see okay so I will move this move So now you can see this corner it's become curved corner smooth of the rectangle so this is how to use the the fillet now blend so what is this blend example i have this I have this uh, object then select the second object the one I want to connect so I will put okay so if you have comment on this object you can type here so that means this object connected on this on this line okay so this is the blend so you can still audit the blend if you want put it here Okay, so like that, uh, you can you can uh, still manipulate on this vertex. Now, explode. Be this one we always used before. I already, but uh, for the sake of this tutorial, we will use again. Click the object. Click the explode or type E. Type E then select the explode and then click the objects and then enter now you can see it's already explode as uh, we already discussed previously 